All right. Welcome back, everyone. Um, Caves of Cud. Yeah. I was having a lot of fun with it yesterday. And I think I'm going to go back with those mutated human. <laughs> it's a lot of fun being a mutant. So, we're going to try and be a... Huh. What kind of guy should we be this time? Do we want to try for the um, the melee guy? That could be fun. Maybe not with this build, though. Okay. Let's go our agility. That was cool. Um, ego was nice. Uh, willpower. No, not so much. Because this is the frequency at mental mutations. This is the potency. All right. So we want agility up there. We definitely want intelligence up there. Um, and yeah, a little bit more ego. And I mean, I want toughness. I really, really feel like we need that. 14 health? Pff, that's a bit rough. Do we take down from intelligence? Or maybe agility? Um... I think we drop agility to 20 and get our willpower up to 14. I think we're looking pretty strong here. Um, we're a little weak physically, but I like it. Morphotypes, hang on. Whoa. Well, I didn't even realize that was a thing. That's kind of crazy. Okay. Um, no. Alright, let's go ahead and take physical defects. I really like the uh, ana analgesia, which is not knowing your health. Um, I'm sure there's probably better stuff here. Uh, oof. I don't know about that. Cold-blooded, nah. Well, this is like me right here. <laughs> I sort of have hemophilia. Not exactly, but... Um... You saw Sam erupt in the flames. Hilarious. No, I really like Anagesia. I like to play with that on anyway. Uh, so if I can get points for playing with it, um, by all means. We're going to go... So, I mean, the fire was a lot of fun. Do we go for... cryo version this time. Cold. Hmm. No, let's go for uh, let's go for fire. I think that's the way to go. What's this? Psychometry. Uh, you understand artifacts. Identifies an artifact up to complexity tier 4, but so is the ability to construct an identified artifact up to complexity tier 2. Oh, okay. Well, that sounds fun. Um, why don't we play some sort of... Um, like a tinkering uh, mutant. You know, trying the, an engineer type of guy. That sounds very cool. So what else can we do? Um, we don't want Burrowing Claws Carapace. Cannot wear armor. Hmm. Cross of gas? No. Oh, that's kind of cool. Hmm. Plus two strength, minus six move speed. Interesting. Electro generation. Thanks for my pulse. Flaming hands. Ooh. I mean, maybe we want to go for something like this, like freezing hands. Seems kind of cool. I kind of like that. Do we take that instead of pyrokinesis? Maybe. Maybe do that, and... 
get multiple legs. We can carry more and move faster. Heightened speed. Hmm. That's interesting. Uh, you know what? I kind of like this. Let's let's try and be crazy here. So we have our pyrokinesis, but also we can shoot cold in a cone. And well, let's see. Uh, the water uh, water merchants are very good. However, uh, we were playing as a tinker. So, Gadget Inspector, there you go, there's actually a Tinker class. Yeah, I think that's, oh, hang on, Scholar. Um, yeah, we're going to, oh, Gunslinger, though. City Hands Pistol and Weak Spotter. Uh, I think we'll go with the Tinker. See what happens. Space begin the game. What is your name? Uh, we shall be. Hmm. Who shall we be tonight? Um. This shall be the journey of Edge to do six. All right. So, just a reminder, we are this little character here, the at symbol, um, as it was in Rogue and Hack. We start in Joppa. It's currently 9 a.m. You can see that over here. Here's our stats. Edge, strength of 10, agility 20, uh, toughness, willpower, intelligence, and ego. That's our armor, our dodge, I believe, our movement allowance, XP. Don't know what these are. Honestly, don't. We are quenched, so we are not hungry. We are sated. So, no, sorry. <laughs> Thirsty and hungry, but yes. And our HP is perfect, uh, because it will never tell us how much HP we truly have because of our negative trait. What can you tell me about Joppa? Uh, we'd be wise to speak with Elder Irudad. I'm in search of work. Go to Red Rock, kill a bunch of critters that have been... Uh, Killing stuff and all sorts of nasty stuff there. Pale, white, eight legs, ear splitting wine, spider creatures. I shall do what you ask. And we're going to be a sneak here, close the door, and start looting. Okay. Lead slugs. Uh, let's just take all this, actually. It's all quite good. And hopefully, no one saw us. Excellent. So we're just going to go around and steal everything we can because we're a bad person. Bronze to a sword and a short bow. Cool. And honestly, are you really a bad person if it's to survive? You know, you can bait. we got a water skin there. Um, but this is definitely about survival. These wastes are really rough. Here's our merchant. Welcome, human. What do you desire? Well, I'm going to open a trade with you. Um, things we want. Okay. We really want all your lead slugs. Every single one. We want all your shotgun shells. And we're going to try and trade you some stuff. So. Uh, things we do not need. How much water do we have? Now this game, um, currency is drams of water. I really like that. It's a very interesting thing. It's fresh water, of course. So you're both trading and, uh, you know, trying to trade values worth. So here, our studded leather armor is worth 2.1 drams of water. Um, our null room skull is worth a lot, actually. Well. Sorry, I'm going to put up our studded leather for sale. Um, maybe... We'll keep the Norm skull. We'll keep one of the studded leather armors to put on. Sell the Norm skull. Sell the cloth robe. It's all garbage. There's a weird artifact here. I kind of want to know what it is, but that's alright. Bandages, tempting, but no. Now, this character doesn't generate light, so we might need to pick up torches at some point. 
But uh, I'm going to try not to do that yet. We're also going to sell our bronze two-handed sword. Um, Actually, we don't have a melee weapon yet. So we'll take that. We will sell the short bow, though. So we do not need that. So, Borderlands Revolver. Wow, you're so cool. Sadly, we can't uh, get that. We can. Ah, we could afford a musket. It would cost us a lot of what we have. But uh, it would give us a ranged weapon. It's tempting. Let's, uh, can we read up on it a little bit? Have a look. It's inaccurate. Hmm. All right. Well, maybe we won't buy it. We'll just we'll hang in there for now. Uh, fried processing core. Cool. Wooden buckler. Cool. We are gonna buy all those copper nuggets. Okay. And he's got wine. So let's go ahead and make this trade. So we currently have seven drams of water left. However, we have five copper nuggets. Now the thing is, copper nuggets weigh almost nothing compared to what water weighs. Water is very heavy. So we're trying to trade off um, water to get these trade goods, which are always the same price. So. A skull conjecture. Okay. And we have some grenades we could sell. Um, I'm going to hold off, though. What kind of creature are you? I'm a Dromad human. A salt strider. Well, nice knowing you, Mr. Dromad. Let's go ahead and run over here. There should be a engineer-type guy over here. Ah yes, mumbling tensile strength with a Reblon, but lacking in dino elasticity, retro threading the embed probably. Oh, I didn't notice you there. That's because I was ignoring you. Well, it's kinda rude. Must you disturb me? What are you, some sort of treasure hunter? Yes. At the very least make yourself useful and bring me a knick knack from one of the caves. I may reward you. Where may I find such a cave? The caves everywhere, you dolt. This is cud. Try the rust wells, just eat of here. I will look for a knickknack. I've already found one. Here's your knickknack. I will give you a stun gas grenade. Thank you. Well, I will fetch you another one, actually. Yes, I have another. And again, I don't really use grenades, so I'm going to give you another stun grass grenade. So we've leveled up. Level 2. Hey, not too bad. 3 hit points, 106 skill points, and a mutation point. Ooh. Alright. Well, he's impressed. Quite impressive, Treasure Hunter. Maybe you're fit to poke around my workshop here. I've been wanting another apprentice. It's unfortunate what happened to Scref. What with the disembowelment and all. Take a seat. There. Let me explain. I'm the cuss of a grand discovery. When I'm done assembling the weird wire conduit, you'll be able to speak to anyone from here the Caliphus. First, though, I'm going to need some copper wire. As much as you can find. At least 200 feet. That is a lot. You should be able to scavenge some from the rust wells in nearby caves. Well, I'll go looking. Uh, wish me luck, or don't, you jerk. Didn't really give me anything except level ups. Uh, which, uh, you know. Eh. I'm going to talk to the elder. Uh, what can you tell me about Joppa? Okay. Just some stuff. You can tell me about Cud. It's a terrible place. Well, my thanks, elder. Live and drink. And rest in pieces. Let's go ahead and equip some of our stuff before I forget. We're going to put on some studded leather armor. Equip. Certainly better than our furs. We are going to equip the bronze two handed sword. Okay. Why can't I, uh,. Equip that. What was wrong with it? Nine. Oh, I need the numb lock. So, thrown weapon, high explosive grenade. Um. Yeah. No thanks. Remove. 
So hands, we have an icy vapor on our hands. Feet, right hand is a fist. Left hand is a data disk skull conjecture. Well, uh, we can learn this. Cool, we can build a skull conjecture. We're going to head and equip our bronze to a sword. It's a little better. And we don't have any missile weapons yet. Actually, we'll equip it this way. I'm not sure if it matters really, but what can you do? All right, anything else here? Nope, everything looks good. Excellent, we got seven drams of water. Don't have a range weapon yet, but that's okay. Um, we have one mutation point, so I can level up something. Probably freezing hands, I would say. Does a little bit more damage. Oh, we cannot wear gloves, though. Okay. So we've leveled it up. It's now a level 2 mutation. And go ahead and spend some more stuff here. Scavenger. Whenever you step over garbage, you astutely rifle through it and occasionally discover scrap. Additionally, you harvest extra scrap from robots you destroy. That would take all our skill points, but I think I'm going to do it. Um, honestly, I think I'll go for that. Yeah. Alright, we got Scavenger now. Feeling pretty good. Let's go ahead and uh, get our freezing hands bound and stuff. So I'll bind that to two. Uh, what's psychometry? I've already forgotten. Sure. Oh, that was the um, thing having to do with uh, artifacts. We don't have any artifacts yet to worry about. So, yes. We'll just uh, look around a little bit here. Explore the world slightly. See what we can find. Alright, right off, we got a bunch of things. Oh, <laughs> Edge is a hideous specimen. Who knew? All right, snap jaws are bad news. Glow crow. Um, they're not bad. Salamanders are bad, though. Let's try and figure this out. Um, first off, hmm. Let's set this guy on fire. Good news. All right. Well, he's dead. And we're gonna head and shoot frost and wow, froze that. Pretty cool. Uh, how long until my stuff is back? Do you think I can freeze? I can't exactly target where they aren't, sadly. Oh, uh, is that an enemy as well? Yes. It's actually a terrifying one. Okay. Let's freeze that. Ten turns. Okay. Not great. Um, what do we have? Not a lot, sadly. Oh, right, you. Okay. Well, they followed us. So, three turns. Nice. We killed the salamander. Froze the uh, salt hopper, and I'm going to kill it. Hopefully, hopefully I can stab it to death. I'm not having a lot of luck doing that. All right, we're having a lot of trouble penetrating its armor. And freeze them. I'm going to try and kill... There we go, we got the salt hopper. Excellent salt hopper corpse. You know what? Uh, can we pick this up and eat it? It's possible to eat a salt hopper corpse this is a good idea. It does give off a lovely nutty aroma. Ah, well. Hit the spot, we're now bloated. Which I assume is bad, but... Oh, you're still frozen, huh? Dead. Should have thought about that. Bronze Twin and Sword and some moccasins. By all means. Um, can we equip those? Oh, we already had some. Well, that's alright. 
you know, better safe than sorry. Bunch of glow, glow crows. What are you? An irritable tortoise. I know how you feel, bud. It's been a long day. Get set on fire and burned to death, if you please. I don't know if he died. Uh, how's he looking? He's injured. What if he was frozen? Alright, well he died, and we leveled up. Awesome. Alright. Well, I'm loving these freezing hands. They're very cool. Let's go ahead and uh, look at our character real quick. So we have one mutation point, one attribute point. I'm going to spend that attribute point on... Um, right now our ego is pretty, pretty rocking. I like that. Uh, let's get our willpower up so we can use our abilities more often. I think that's probably the way to go. Although, hang on. Before we do anything crazy, let's look. We need 29 intelligence for Tinker 3. Um, and 25 for Reverse Engineer. Yeah. Does seem useful. Especially because we want to go for um, bows and rifles. Want this. So we're going to need a lot of agility as well. Hmm. Maybe we go for pistols then. I'm not sure. Yeah, pistols looks good. All right. Um, so I think we're going to then put the point in intelligence. Uh, yes. Okay, so it is 25 now, so we can get all the good stuff, except for Tinker 3, which we might honestly not even worry about. Just try and find some enemies to kill. Nothing there. Um, well, it looks like I'm going to have to head up to the world map in a second. Okay, I don't really think there's a point in killing a glow crow. Shoot. <laughs> Shouldn't have walked into that frozen horn chameleon. Uh, I just one shot the snap jaw there. We'll take his hand axe. There's a lot of stuff going on there. Hang on. Um Whoa. Just set it all on fire. Wait, hang on. Is it all hostile? Might not be. No, they're <laughs> they're not actually. Just the uh, the horn chameleon is. Oh well, now all of that seems to be angry. Uh, let's uh, leave slowly. Oh, what happened there? Am I blind? Oh, it's 7 p.m. It's just dark out. Alright, we'll light a torch. And we'll uh, freeze that thing again. Not dealing with it. Okay, feral dog. Smash it while it's frozen. Had a lot of trouble doing that. 
I hate these bees. I keep thinking they're boars. And the boar is an O, so there you go. Uh, sadly, I can't penetrate its armor, actually. So I have fun burning. Can we eat its charred corpse? I actually don't need to. We're still bloated. So there's that. And a horned chameleon around the corner. And we'll uh, just back off a little bit here. And freeze it again. This freezing stuff seems to be quite effective. Um, hopefully we'll have a gun soon, so there's a reason to kite things. Dragonfly's I, boar's O. Okay. Alright, yeah, so... Uh, our ability to stab things is quite poor, even with our agility so high. Okay, we leveled up again. Awesome. We're doing quite well, actually. Um, we should probably head, head off and do our quest soon. Um, but in the meantime, let's go ahead and check out our levels. So we got two mutation points, so I could level up Freezing Hands again. It'd be 3d4 damage then. Hmm. What about uh, Pyrokinesis? Whew, that does up the damage quite a bit. Um, Cost one MP. Oh. Oh, I thought the two beside it meant that's how much. Oh, it's all. Oh, it means it's level two. Oh. I see. Okay. Well, yeah, let's get our freezing hands up. Um, no, we can't level that up right now. So, for sure, we'll level up our, our fire. And we have 200 points, so we could get... Hmm. Reverse Engineer, Expert Disassemble. These both seem very good. Let us get, actually... We haven't found anything yet, so I'm going to hold off and wait and see if we can find a ranged weapon and then put our points in the pistol. What are you? Feral Dog. Alright, well, have fun burning, uh, first off. Also, we killed your corpse, and I apologize for that. Stop following me. Freaking out, guys. Oh, a salt hopper. Oh, that was a boar. Okay, well, salt hoppers are actually really scary. Annoyingly. Two turns. Okay, frozen. Run. Okay. Let's see if we, uh... There he is. We'll set fire right here. Actually, I'm not sure if you noticed there, but we set fire to the next, um... Okay, we killed it. We set fire to this next zone. I had to build it there. So that was quite interesting. So we're actually getting tons of levels off these salt hoppers. Um, I'm not really feeling like I'm at danger. Certainly, yeah, see, there's the fire over there. We'll just rest here so that fire goes away. Uh, this is red rock. I'm going to go find out what's going on here. Now, the game is randomly generated to some extent. Wow, okay, we got bit for a lot of damage. Um, one dram of blood. I'm going to try and pick that up, actually, in one of our water skins. Um, I forget how to use that. Let's see. Can I interact? Ah, there we go. 
So we have picked up a dram of our own blood. And uh, we're going to have to kill this dog. She's our freezing hands on it. Smash it in the face. Okay, well that's not working. And what are you? A salamander. Okay. Well this is working out. We'll head them down to the choke point. And we'll set a fire right... One more. Right here. So now if they want in, they gotta burn the death. That's what I thought. So actually, do we have our torch equipped as our weapon right now? That's what it looked like. Uh, yes. Well, that explains a lot of our problems. <laughs> we'll go ahead and equip this uh, hand axe, actually. So at least now we can potentially do things. Um, anyway, I was saying, I know the game is randomly generated to some extent. I'm not sure if every level is. It feels that way sometimes. Yes, for sure. I did not go here yesterday to go down. So that's good. What are you? Not sure. Snapjaw Warrior. Well, we're having a little trouble hitting it with our axe. Um, okay, it might just kill us, actually. Sure. Let's go ahead and... Uh, can't pick any up any blood. Iron Short Sword. Excellent. We'll equip that. Studded leather armor. I think we're using that, so we'll take it anyway. There's nothing to take. I would like to go up. Thank you. And there's hostels nearby. Where? I don't know. Let's head back to Joppa. Let's see if we can trade some things for some water. Would you like my furs? Yeah, you would. And you'd like my studded armors? And my moccasins? And what about my dagger and sword? Like those? Yeah, apparently you really do. So we could use some of this money, considering we drank a lot of it. <laughs> um, do you have anything I want? I mean, I want a gun. Let's get real. But I don't think I can afford that right now. So hang on. And how much are you willing to pay for blood? Uh oh, A little bit more than just, you know, how much a water skin's worth. Which is interesting. Um, so we'll go, we'll go ahead and make that offer. Yeah. So now, now we're looking a little better for water. And let's head back here. And we ate some bear jerky. You know, just keep ourselves sated. Or satiated, I suppose. Two wooden arrows. You know what? Take that stuff. It's pretty good. Okay. Let's go ahead and burn whatever that was. So I wasn't feeling like dealing with it. So we auto got a bent metal sheet, a worn burnous, okay. Dagger, staff, and a short bow. Excellent. A bronze mace and some furs. Cool. And there's just a campfire there. Or actually, um well here's the thought. Oh, I don't have very many arrows, annoyingly. Hmm. What is a burnous? cloak. Sure. Equip that. So I can equip the short bow as our missile weapon. Um, yeah. And I might just... We only have very, very few arrows, but... You know, it gives us something. Okay. He died. I don't know what killed him, though. Same thing that's potentially killing me. Snapjaw Hunter. Let's freeze it. It's dead. Got a beaded bracelet. Very nice. Iron Battle Axe. I like that. And what do you got for me? Cloth robe. We'll leave the hand axe for now. 
And it's worth a little bit of water uh, to a trader, but you know, leaving it behind won't be the end of the world. A burnt capacitor. Oh, right, because we rifled through the garbage. Awesome. Let's go ahead and get that. I forget what you are. Oh, yeah, the frozen horn chameleon. Welcome to. What is that? Oh. Oh, that's horrible. What's one of those jilted lover things? Oh, burn it off the wall, please. Just not dealing with that. Oh, well, now we're in trouble. Freeze it? Okay, it's dead. Wait 100 turns. <laughs> we're full health again. Thank goodness. A witchwood wreath. Okay, we'll get that. Beaded bracelet, nice. Grab that. What are you? A chest. Leather boots, we'll equip those. Uh, sword and capacitor. Receive tinkering bits, you know, scrap power systems. Hmm. Okay. So we could store an item there. Not going to. Found a crack lens. I love this rifling. Scrap crystal. Okay. We need to. Oh. Auto got crack lens. Bent metal sheets. Auto got some wooden arrows. Hopefully. Iron dagger. Yeah. Bronze dagger and leather cap. We'll equip that. And just some arrows. What are you? Young ivory. Oh. Nothing to take. What is a young ivory then? Oh, it's a plant. Oh. It's terrifying. Can I kill it? I guess setting it on fire is the tried and true method. Okay, grab some arrows. Fine wafer and copper nugget. And pass in the hand axe. And salty water, sadly. <laughs> I was really hoping it was a little bit of fresh water just found down in this cave that we could take home and sell for mad moolah. Where'd you run off to? Okay, there's a lot of them actually. Um, but they're kind of weak. And luckily, also, we can carry a lot of cool frozen wooden arrow. Alright, we're gonna shoot this guy first. So, wooden arrows always reinforce said leather armor. Let's equip that. Iron dagger and bronze dagger. Okay, we are now carrying too much. We will drop our stud leather armor. So we're no longer over encumbered. Oh, freezing brawn dagger. Like, that's really cool. Let's, uh, let's get that. Iron short sword. Okay, we're not carrying too much right now. Lacquer leather armor. Uh, we're going to want to take that home, yeah. Um, how much are we over? 12. Okay. Let's see. Cloth robe, realistically, probably not worth a lot. Um, let's see what weighs poundage. Oh, this bronze mace does. So we'll drop you. And then we just need to drop a, a staff. Absolutely. Done. Didn't even have to think about that. Just a little bit. So, no idea what that was. A bat. Okay. Let's go ahead and fire at this guy. Okay. I mean, look pretty good. We like one shot those guys. Okay. Let's go ahead and set that on fire. Grab this microchip. Well, there's some boar skin gloves that got flamed, but it's okay. We can't wear them anyway. 
That's a jilted lover. Not feeling you, Timmy. Okay, we took it out. Took some of our arrows, but it's alright. I just don't like dealing with them. Let me just burn them off the wall. Okay. Heading down further. Bam, immediately stuff everywhere. What game be this? this is a case of CUD, actually. It's, uh, it's really, really fun, a little roguelike. Sadly, uh, it's not recognized by Twitch. So, I can't um, say I'm playing Caves of Cud specifically. A wide brimmed hat. Huh. <laughs> well, I feel like I have to put that on. Um, I would like to take some of these things, the iron weapons specifically, but. For now, we'll hold off. A dread root. I wonder if I can pick it up. Nope. I assume I need harvesting to uh, do something like that. Freeze these guys, and I'm honestly, what do we got in that room? Debris. Woven tunic. Bronze longsword. Ah, uh, no, I'll just shoot that guy in the back. Stab him a little bit. We got a crit. He did. Okay. Well, that's reassuring. So I do want to take that. I was going to set them on fire, but when you set people on fire, everything they have burns. Not always, but uh, enough that I didn't want that thing to burn. So. And uh, let's go ahead and drop this bronze dagger. Pretty confident about that. We've got a burnt capacitor. Turn that into some stuff. Small boulder. Small boulder. What are you? A cave spider. Welcome to being on fire. So I absolutely hate them. Don't mess with cave spiders. It just ends in tears. Okay, well we froze these guys. Stab this guy a little bit. What else have we got? Got a cave spider in here. I know that much. Any web? Anything else? Dread root. Two jilted lovers. All right. I'm just gonna sit here and then uh, freeze the cave spider. A bloody bat corpse. So we can kill this jilted lover. No, they're nasty. And it's salty water, sadly, so we can't pick it up. Right, let's go ahead and level up. Let's see what we're looking at. Mutation point. Can we put up our freezing hands? Not yet. Pyrokinesis. Can't level that up right now. Hmm. And we could level this up, but I don't. Don't really want to. Um. We do have a bow now, so we could start going down that tree. Or, of course, get uh, reverse engineer and expert disassemble. That's how you do it. All right. Whoa. <laughs> Overwhelmed by terror from the dread root. Thanks for that. Seed spitting vine somewhere over here. There it is. Just going to set that on fire. I don't really want to deal with it. And these jilted lovers. Throws the one. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to kill it, sadly. Just wait a little bit here and then set it on fire. Which is kind of my answer for everything. <laughs> Freeze all that. Man, these seeds fitting plants, though. Oh. Okay, well, things are bad. 
Um, I died. <sighs> Why? I should have just waited for my fire to come back up. I could just nuke the room. That was my bad. Anyway. I am far too tired and it's 3.24 a.m. So, uh, thanks for turning up, everyone. It was a lot of fun. And, um, I forget what they save about this, uh, in this game. Something about, um, something about drinking, anyway. But, yeah, live well and drink lots or something. I forget. But, anyway, take it easy, everyone. And I'll catch you tomorrow.